part three of the chapter 1.3 on the wings of courage. So already children in part one and part two, we had seen uh, pages of one and two of your textbook. I hope children, uh, you all are following your textbook. Whenever I explain the lesson, please do refer to your textbook because passages are asked based on the textbook. So when we are explaining here right now, we are not able to read the textbook, but still some exactly the same things we are taking from the textbook. So please keep the textbook open. Now this is basically page number three, which I will be explaining in 1.3. So keep the page open right in front of you and just see the continuation of the explanation. So here on August 1st, 1964, in the rank of Air Marshal, Arjun Singh took over the reins of IAF at a time when IAF was redeveloping into a world's powerful airfare unit, having flown about 60 different types of aircraft from pre-World War, he was quite associated with uh, the crafts like gnats and vampires, then some super constellation. So all these flights, he had uh, basically understood the technology and was familiar with it and took over the reins and explained the technicalities to his other members. you will be seeing some of the crafts which Marshal Arjun Singh had flown, the Gnats and the Super Constellations. They were very, very powerful aircrafts, fighter planes and uh, it was only Marshal Arjun Singh at that time who knew the technicalities and how to master it. Now, regards to that, I will be showing you a small movie how these fighter planes he had tackled very nicely. So children, you can see this movie where I had taken out Singh was the first airship to keep his flying currency till the CAS rank and having flown over 60 different types of aircraft starting from the pre-world World War II era biplanes to the most contemporary gnats and vampires he had also flown in transport aircraft like super constellations so he was a person who had a great knowledge of all the aircrafts and fighter planes, he was a master in it. So you can see children, all these fighter planes, he had flown them once. Some, see, can you see the bullets coming off? How very dangerous they are, but he was the master of it. Marshal Arjun Singh was a personality which people always remember. He was the god of the air, god of the wings, which we cannot forget. And there was never a soul like him who was so daring to hide the sky. He was just like a bird flying here and there in the sky. So I hope this small movie which I have taken for you all, you could understand his work and the way he had taken the flight up to the skies and venturing to any impossible mission. He did not fear navigating the aircrafts to heights. So this short movie I have taken only for you all to understand that it's not an easy task 
to be a air pilot it is really difficult to play with the flights and then take a mission to set a target and then throw the bombs down from the aircraft it's really really a very challenging mission to be in the air force you need lot of training which marshal arun singh did so now let us move to the next slide you will be just seeing what it did more the most popular contribution of singh however came in 1965 when pakistan launched its operation which was known as the grand slam and here these pakistanis had targeted the town of akhnoor during the 1965 indo pak war and it was a very very com completely difficult situation and they had to decide within an hour what is to be done so it was marshal arjun singh who just talked had a word with the defense minister and decided that they were ready to take the air force there and it was a terrific war with the pakistanis at that time the soldiers bombarded from sky the army men from down and it was a terrific war just to save akhnoor and during the indo pak war so you will see it was only his valentry that he could save the place due to his brilliant strategies and skillful leadership the if emerged victorious and this he was honored with the padma vibhushan and many more look at the badges children which he is wearing in his chest and this made the air force proud that because of his this small decision at the moment they could save and india became victorious in the indo pak war it was just because of the daringness and his presence of mind marshal arjun singh made india proud and because of that he was honored the padma vibhushan while coming to his final journey he did not give up after leaving his air force he retired in the year august 1969 but he was appointed as an ambassador to switzerland after retirement He became the lieutenant governor of Delhi from December 1989 to 1990. Children, you can see that he did not give up work at all for the country. He was a man who really loved the country from the bottom of his heart. Even after retiring, he was working for the country. He became the Marshal of Air Force on 26 January 2002. But due to his name and fame people always loved him all the people in high rank always admired him the pilots he was a role model for them but he never felt that he should leave his dress he felt proud to wear the air force dress wherever he went though he had retired but still he never left his uh, dress of the air force and the medals which he had acquired so he basically wanted to be known as an air chief marshal rather than a civilian he was a warrior from the beginning from the age of 19 years till day though recently he expired in the year 2017 he still wanted to do more he expired at the age of 98 but he always said that he never wanted to be on bed and this he proved it right even at the age of 98 97 he used to visit his air force offices and 
give share his stories to motivate the young upcoming people there in the air force so children that's the end of marshal arjun singh's life though we can keep on seeing many many more about this great personality but still this has been taken in your textbook so please do read the textbook once again after listening to the explanation thank you